It's great to start the day with a tidy cafe. <laughs> no sign of Ben yet, though. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> Ben's not here at the moment, but he won't be long. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, ben could not make it today. He is a bit busy, so he has asked me to take his place. My name is Pierre Francois. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face. I'm sure I've seen him before. <laughs> hey, why are you staring at my face? You make me all shy. I'm sure I recognize him. Hang on, that's not Pierre. That's Ben. Hey, Ben, we know it's you. <laughs> oh, you saw through my clever disguise. I thought I could fool you. Well, your coat's different, and so is your hair. <laughs> And your eyeglass makes you look really distinguished. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In fact, your voice is very different. The only thing is, your face looks exactly the same. But I've been invited to a party where everybody has to dress in disguise. A disguise is when you change the way you look, so your friends don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? My disguise isn't very good. Don't worry, Ben. We'll find something. We'll have to worry about my disguise later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Way! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, we've got three customers in our cafe today, Ben. Three? Wowee! <laughs> what do they look like? Well, there's a little one. A medium-sized one and a big one. Oh, give us another clue. They're very furry. <laughs> I'll guess in a minute. And they have horns coming out of their heads. <laughs> oh, I know who they are. They're the three Billy Goats Gruff. You're right. The three Billy Goats Gruff. Now I wonder what Billy Goats would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge, and the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't," said the medium-sized Billy Goat. "There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up." "I'm sure he wouldn't do that," I said. "Come on." We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge, but sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry. I thought he's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss, and I made mossy slippers for the little Billy Goat. Mossy slippers for the medium-sized Billy Goat, and mossy slippers for the big Billy Goat. Oh yes, and I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself too. <laughs> Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad pad padded across the bridge, and the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field that they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs. So that he'd never ever be disturbed by trip, trip, trapping. Little Cook to the rescue once again. 
That was a great adventure. So the three billy goats gruff feasted on tasty green grass thanks to your brilliant idea, little cook. But what can we cook for three billy goats? That's a good question, Ben. I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Oh, let's see. Aha, I found just the thing to remind the three Billy Goats Gruff of their adventure. A baguette bridge. That's trip trap tremendous. <laughs> you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onions. Onions, over we go. Here we are. One onions, two onions, yep. A baguette. And what's a baguette? A long bread roll. Like this. Oh, oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Sugar. Got it. Cider vinegar. Oh, yes. Here we are. That's in the cupboard as well. Yep. Cress. Here we go. Got the cress mall. And goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh, right. OK. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we don't have any goat cheese small. Oh, no. But don't worry. Why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh look, they're goats. And that goat is being milked. <laughs> this is the dairy where the goat's milk is made into cheese. That's an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Now the milk has been turned into curds and whey, it has to be cut up into little pieces using a special cutter. The way is drained away. We don't need that anymore. <laughs> the curd is used to make the cheese. It's collected into moulds and put under a press until it is set. The cheese is taken out of its mould and put in a storeroom. Yummy, yummy! I'd better get back to the kitchen with some goat's cheese. Bye! <laughs> Hey, I found the perfect disguise. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. I'm back. Why are you hiding behind that colander, Ben? <laughs> it's my clever disguise. I'm an alien. <laughs> no time for that now, Ben. I brought back the goat's cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! Ho -ho! Good work, Small. That was amazing. Goat's cheese is made from goat's milk, you know. The goats were really pretty and they had beards. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all lovely and creamy. Come on then, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to baguette bridge? 
You do. There were onions, two, thinly sliced, a baguette, one, cut into three, two short pieces and one long piece, oil, two tablespoons, sugar, one tablespoon, cider vinegar, three tablespoons, cress, a little for decoration, and goat cheese, five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a medium saucepan until it's nice and hot. Then, I'm going to pour in the onions and give them a good stir until the onions are coated in the oil. Mmm! I love the smell of yummy onions while they're cooking. I wonder if I can think up a clever disguise for Ben with this greaseproof paper. When the onions are golden, it's time to add the vinegar. There we go. Slip, slop. And then we can add the sugar. Plip, plop. Give it a good old stir. Like this, and then we can cook them for another ten minutes until they're really golden. The crinkly crublet has landed. Throw down your spoons. I come in peace. <laughs> Is that you, Small? Yes, Ben. I'm trying to find you the perfect disguise. The only trouble is, I'm stuck. Can you try to unwind me? Okay, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for thinking up the crinkly crublet disguise for me, Small, but it looks a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, let's see if these onions are ready. Don't worry, Ben. I'll find you a disguise. Mmm, these look just right now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and then bring them across. There we go. And next, I'm going to take the two short pieces of baguette, which I've cut the ends off, like this, and pop them onto a baking tray. We can eat the other bits later. And then, I'm going to take the long piece of baguette, which I've cut in half, like this, and I'm going to place that on the baking tray as well. And on top of that, I'm going to put the onions. And some more there. And next is the fun part. On go the slices of goat's cheese. Some there. And there. And another one there. And then another piece on there. Ho oh, ho ho, this looks yummy small. <laughs> ha ha, I'm a knight in shining armor and I'm ready to joust. <laughs> ah! What are you up to now, small? Hey, hey! I'm trying out another disguise, Ben. I'm being a knight in shining armor. Now stand aside, my horse is ready to charge. <laughs> Are you all right, Small? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a knight in shining armor. It looks a bit dangerous. Right. Let's get on with our baguette bridge. Now, we can pop it in the oven. So, oven gloves on. And over we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open it up. And in it goes. For ten minutes. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. <laughs> The cheese is melted now. But it doesn't really look like a bridge, Ben. It soon will. 
It's cool enough to touch, so I'm going to arrange the pieces of baguette on a plate like this in the shape of a bridge. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cress around the plate as a grassy riverbank. Wowee! That looks brilliant! Quick, Ben, let's give it to the three billy goats gruff while it's still nice and warm. OK, then. One baguette bridge coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like the Billy Goats Gruff enjoyed the baguette bridge. Look, Small, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the yumptious baguette bridge. Woohoo! We are enjoying our new field very much. Here are Small's mossy shoes that we left by the bridge in case the troll isn't wearing his earmuffs when Small visits us again. Whoopee! My little mossy shoes! I knew I'd left them somewhere. <laughs> oh, hang on, Small, there's more. Here's something to help with Ben's disguise. Big bleats from the three billy goats gruff. Ho-ho! <laughs> Look, Small! Hey-hey! <laughs> it's a goatee beard! <laughs> Let's put it on with the rest of the disguise. I can't wait for the party now. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> How do I look? Like a right silly Billy. <laughs> but I wouldn't recognise you now, Ben. Now I've got the perfect disguise. <laughs> See, See you soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> We'll cook for everyone! Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, hey, oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo! Woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing and I get to go skating. Way! Yes, okay then. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, small. Small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow. Oh, yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. Yes. <laughs> Well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <laughs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess? In our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book. 
We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married, but first the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed, and on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses, and on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the queen asked her how she'd slept, and the princess said, Oh, very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the queen knew that only a princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married and lived happily ever after. Well, almost, because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could feel every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock, a big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed and she slept like a dream. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Ben. But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes, there's a princess in our cafe. Oh! <gasps> we can. <sighs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's Book. Oh, small. Look at this. Princess pie. Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, Small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas, Small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that. Definitely double cream. Eggs. Two eggs. One and a two. And mint. Mint. Oh, yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas, Small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah, and I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hey, hey, I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look. There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. 
And here's the tractor to collect them. Look at all those peas. Off they go. I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags. Full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. Whoa. I'm back, Ben. Oh, no. I see. Well, of course, they must come with you. Yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin Den on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen, and their children, Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the peas small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Wow! It was brilliant! I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... frozen! <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you're away, Small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for Princess Pie? You do? Let's see then. There was short crust pastry, one packet all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices. Like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now, put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray and then fold up the edges like this to make little walls. 
There. How's it going, Small? Here we are, Big Cook, Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint. All together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. Now, you don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash, mash. Back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me. It was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great. Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice. Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness. Your Royal Highness. Oh. 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 Hello? Yes? All right. OK, then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. 
My cousin's children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Oh, look! A lovely clean plate. Oh, yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> we were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, 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 yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Ben back from shopping. Oh. I'm back! Hello, everyone! Ho oh, ho! Oh, it's a bit windy out there. Oh, I finished all the shopping. Oh, small, I found this fantastic new bread. It's all long and thin. Ho oh, ho, wait till you see it. It'll knock your socks off. Hey <laughs> hey! Oh, whoops! <laughs> I think it just did blow my socks off. <laughs> and my shoes, too. <laughs> oh, sorry, Small. <laughs> Come on, Small, we've got a customer. Better get your shoes and socks back on. OK, Ben, I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? Well, he's got a black hat and a black beard. <laughs> Anything else, Small? And he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Parrot on his shoulder! <laughs> oh, then it must be a pirate. Ha ha! You're right, Ben. It is a pirate. Percy the pirate. I bet he's got loads of buried treasure and a pirate ship to sail the seas. Not today, though. It's probably too wet and windy to sail on the seas. We'd better make something really tasty for him, then. Good idea, Ben. What can we cook for him? Um, how about fish and ships? <laughs> fish and ships? Fish and ships, you know, like fish and chips, but fish and ships. <laughs> Pirates don't eat ships. They sail in them. What would a pirate like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. Pirates. Pirates. Oh, yes, I remember. One day I went to a desert island. I was feeling a bit lost all by myself on the beach. But I wasn't worried, because I'm quite good at finding my way about. You have to be when you're as little as me. So I looked around to see what I could see. I could see pebbles, a crab, some shells, palm trees and the sea. And I could see something else. Big footprints! And do you know who they belong to? Someone with big feet. So I followed the big footprints all the way along the beach and I found Percy the pirate and a parrot on his shoulder, which was nearly as big as me. And both of them were looking very sad. I'm supposed to be finding the treasure, said Percy the pirate. The other pirates sent me from the pirate ship to find the treasure, but I can't find it anywhere. Where is it supposed to be? I asked him. I've been given a treasure map, and the treasure is marked by a cross, but I can't work out where it is on the beach. 
Percy the pirate showed me the treasure map. On the map there were some pictures and a big cross. Now as I said, I'm quite good at finding my way about and I worked out where the treasure would be. First, we had to find two trees, then a river, and the treasure would be marked with a cross. So we found the trees and the river, and then we found the treasure. We dug up the treasure, and Percy the pirate and his parrot were so happy, we danced the night away until it was time for the pirate to go back to his ship. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Ha ha! That were a mighty fine story there, shipmate Little Cook Small. Ha ha! Buried treasure. Way! Or should I say, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder if there's any buried treasure in our garden, Small. Oh, can we go digging for it? Oh, not now. It's still raining, Small. We'd better wait till later. Oh, never mind, Ben. Let's think about what we can cook for Percy the Pirate. Well, we know what pirates really like. Treasure! <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat treasure, Ben. You're right, Small. Hmm, try again. What to cook for a pirate? Hmm. <gasps> Ooh! Oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Oh yes, here it is! The very thing for a pirate's lunch. Pirate's Gold! Oh, <laughs> oh brilliant! Percy the Pirate will love it! It looks just like a treasure chest! Come on, Small. Let's get cooking. What does it say we need? OK, let's see. We're going to need cheese. OK, over to the fridge. Here we go. Cheese, yep, yeah, got that, Small. An egg. Egg. One egg. Got the egg. Plain flour. Flour in the cupboard. Here we go. Plain flour, yep. Yeah. A baguette. Oh, one tasty baguette. Yes. And tin sweet corn. Right, um, there we go. Tin sweet corn. Got that as well. Brilliant. Here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Ben, what turns the nuggets golden? Ah, well, that's the most important ingredient, Small. The sweet corn. It's yellow. And yellow sweet corn will make the golden treasure. Sweet corn? Where does it come from? From this tin. <laughs> no, I mean before it goes into the tin, Ben. <laughs> oh, well, um, I don't know. But why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook? That's a great idea. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? <laughs> go small, go small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. Here we are. What a beautiful day! These plants are really tall. They're called corn on the cob. Sweet corn grows inside those green leaves. This farmer is going to pick the sweet corn. First of all, he has to check that the sweet corn inside the leaves is ripe and ready to pick. This one isn't ready. This one isn't ready either. Oh, it's like a jungle. Here's some more corn on the cob. Is it ripe? Yes, it's ripe and ready to pick. If you peel back the leaves, you can see the sweet corn. That's called a kernel of corn. Sweet corn is bright yellow and tastes delicious. It's the colour of pirate's gold.
I'd better get back to the cafe. See you later. <laughs> Golden treasure. Oh, ho. lovely golden sweet corn treasure, that is. <laughs> I've hidden a little bit of sweet corn treasure for me old matey little cook small to find under his cup. Shh. Hey, I'm back. Then you'll never guess. Corn grows on big plants as tall as you. <laughs> and when it's cooked, sweet corn can be eaten on the cob or off the cob as little golden nuggety pieces, like in our tin. <laughs> Talking of golden nuggety pieces, Small, I've hidden a little bit of golden treasure for you to find me, Hearty. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Treasure. <laughs> but that's for later. We better get on with the recipe now, Small. Our pirate customer will be getting very hungry. So, we're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Pirate's Gold? You do? There was cheese, half a cup, egg, one, plain flour, two tablespoons, a baguette, a quarter, and tin sweet corn, half a cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we're going to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can get on with the recipe. So. I've cut this piece of baguette in half, but not all the way through. That's a job for your grown-up helper to do. This is going to be our treasure chest. So, we're going to start hollowing out our treasure chest by taking the bread away and pop it into a bowl. And I'll do this piece at the top. There we are. That should give enough space for our golden nuggety pieces. There. So the next thing we want to do is start to crumble down these pieces of bread. Make them a little bit smaller. Okay. Let's get them all done. Just break them up. Wow! And now we can add the egg. In it goes. There we are. That's the egg. And we're going to mix the cheese and the sweet corn all together in a bowl with a wooden spoon. Let's give it a good old mix up there. Be careful with the mixing, Ben. Of course, Small. <laughs> you know what happens when you start mixing. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you get all excited. <laughs> <laughs> and a big blob of mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Splatters all over me. <laughs> what are you doing, Small? You've got gunk all over you. <laughs> I think I'd better go and clean myself up. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, Small. <laughs> Good idea. Right. Now, this next bit can get a little bit sticky. What I'm going to do is add the flour to the mixture. This will help it to go a bit more solid. And I'll give it a quick stir with the spoon. Round and round we go. And then, with my nice clean hands, I'm going to give it another mix. So, I'll put a little bit more flour onto the board and a little bit onto my fingers to stop the mixture sticking to me. There we go. And in we are. Right, we're going to roll the mixture into little balls, like that. 
There we are. And I'll pop it onto the board and give it another roll around in the flour to give it an extra floury coating. There we go. And then we can pop it onto a greased baking tray. That's one done. I'll just make a few more. So roll it round. It's a little bit sticky to start with. There, all cleaned up. Aha, me hearties. Do you remember Captain Ben hit some treasure for me to find? Can you help me find it? Over here? No. Is it over here? No. There. That's the last of the golden nuggets, so all we need to do now is pop them in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to pop them in the oven for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. There we go. And into the oven they go for 10 minutes. Or set the timer for 10 minutes. Tell me if I'm close to the buried treasure. Say warm if I'm close and cold if I'm far away. Huh? Cold. Warm, eh? There, the nuggets have cooked and cooled now. Oh, lovely and golden brown. Cold, eh? I'll try over here. Warm. Warmer still. I wonder if my treasure's under my cup. <whistles> Yippee! Oh, thank you, my sweet corn treasure. Brilliant! Ho 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 Well done, Small. Right, now it's time for me to put these into the treasure chest. Now, I've already put some lettuce and tomato in as dressing, and I'm going to pile in the golden nuggets. Two, three, four, and five. There! When we close the lid, it looks just like a real treasure chest. Oh, that looks brilliant. And it smells delicious. Yes, it does. Here we go. Pirate's gold coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Ha-ha! <laughs> Here comes the plate! Ho, ho, ho! It looks like Percy enjoyed his pirate's gold. And look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, <clears throat> Dear Big Cut Ben and Little Cock Small, that were the tastiest pirate's gold I ever did nibble on. <laughs> Thank ye, landlubbers. Here's a little something for ye. It's from me very own treasure chest. Small! Look! It's real pirate's gold! Our very own treasure! <laughs> 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 See you soon! See you soon! <laughs>